This is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday, day one of the 2014 ACC Women's Tournament from Greensboro, North Carolina. Tom Wormy with you. And three teams advancing in day one of the tournament, Clemson, Virginia, and Wake Forest, have all moved on from the first round. Now, my takeaway from the first round has got to be Audra Smith, the head coach of the Clemson Tigers, in her first ACC tournament game. Her team came to play, winning 69 56 behind a great performance from Nikki Dixon. Keep in mind, though, they beat Virginia Tech, a team that had beaten them last Thursday in Blacksburg. But Clemson came to play on day one of the ACC tournament to get the win and advance for first-year head coach Audra Smith. Now for more of their impressions of day one of the ACC tournament, here's Mike Hogwood and Debbie Antonelli. I want to say, Debbie, first of all, it was just great to have basketball on Wednesday, <laughs> yeah. the first day. It was awesome. What's your takeaway from today? Well, besides the extra day, which I absolutely love, I'm going to – give you a Tara Franklin for Virginia. I thought she had a tremendous game for UVA. She scored 19 points in 10 minutes when you carry over the last part of the first half to the beginning of the second half, which allowed Virginia to separate. I thought she had a terrific offensive game. She made shots. She hit three. She finished with 23 points. That's the way you want to see your seniors playing coming into this right. event. All the teams that won today broke multiple game losing streaks. And Wake Forest winning, I like De'Erica Hamby. 25 points, 16 rebounds, and a career-high eight assists. Her 22nd double-double of the year. But the question now is, what can she do against the North Carolina Tar Heels? That's not going to be easy. Tom, let's go back up to you. All right, Mike, and it gets even better tomorrow with four games on day two of the 2014 ACC Women's Tournament from Greensboro, North Carolina. This is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.